Tita, I'd like to take this opportunity to confess my love for you. I know this is not the right place or not the right time. But being with you is very difficult. So I take this opportunity to confess my love for you. I don't know what to say. Give me time to think. No, I can't wait. I'm a man with a few words and I'll give all my love for you. So Tita, do you feel the same way for me? Yes. I'm glad to hear. I'm gonna tell Mama Elena. to his mother's womb whenever my great-grandmother chopped on nuts. said that Tita was literally pushed into this world by a torrid stream of tears that overflowed from the table to the kitchen floor. When Tita was finally born, relief and happiness were painted on their faces. When the fight was over and the water had evaporated thanks to the sun, Nacho swept up what remained of the tears. With that salt, she filled a 40-pound sack which they used for cooking for a long time. Chan-chan, 
See you, Stan. See you, Doña Elena. You didn't invite anyone to your birthday without telling, didn't you? No, Mama. I really don't know. It's Don Pascual Mosquiz and his son, Pedro. They want to talk to him. Buenos dias, señora. Señora, quiero casarme con Tita. Mother, listen, so I've just explained. Tita will definitely not be put. If I may suggest, you can marry my other daughter, Rosada. She's two years older than my daughter, Tita. And she's healthy, prepared, and ready for marriage. Tita! You have never done anything right! Get back inside the kitchen! Forgive me. Girls! Girls! Really? How can your mother be so cruel? Who does she think she is? And I'll be able to say perfecta? You can exchange tacos for enchiladas! Why? What did you say? Tita! Tita was devastated after hearing that she won't marry Pedro, but instead her sister, Rosora. <laughs> it should be me. I should be the one to marry Pedro. I hope you'll be very happy. Of course. Not that I can actually want to be with you. To be the woman that I truly love. Pedro? Si? Oh, I want to discuss something. Sure. Whipping was the first symptom of a strange intoxication. A sense of melancholy and frustration overtook all the guests, making them take refuge on the patio in the barns and bathrooms as they yearn for their love of their lives. Nobody escaped the spell. now since the wedding and I'm feeling very okay now. Señor, no es vision el hurria, sino persuader un hijo que te serva. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, and thy kingdom come. This is your 
21st anniversary as the Heart of the Christ. So I take this opportunity to give the flowers. Thank you. Throw them out. Yes. Don't throw them out. You can use them to make quills in a rose petal sauce. A strange alchemical process had dissolved her entire being in the rose petal sauce, in the tender flesh of the quails, in the wine, in every one of the meal's aromas. That was the way she entered Pedro's body, hot, voluptuous, perfumed, totally senses. This is not the gods. With that meal, it seemed they had discovered a new system of communication. Rosara, saying she was feeling sick and getting nauseous, barely took three bites. But something strange was happening to her through this. Tita was the transmitter, Pedro the receiver, and poor Gertrudes the media, the conducting body through which the singular sexual message was passed. Today we ate this dish and we do this run away. anyone who cried out for food. She immediately felt that need to relieve that hunger. That feeling enabled her virgin breast to nurse her nephew. But because of her mother's suspicion, they've been sent out to another city. Mama Elena! San Nicolas came back from San Antonio and said he passed away. The boy! What boy? Roberto, your grandson! Everything he ate made him sick and passed away. He died! Sit down and keep looking! I don't want to see a single tear in your eye! Tita, your mother wants you to go out. this yarn because I've noticed that you love to meet. Is it a color? I'll exchange it for you. <laughs> Is it a full right? I don't blame you. Sue Ellen, our cook, is a worse cook. So me and my son have to put up with it. Tita, you don't have to worry. 
I'll tell Sue Ellen that you're not feeling well. So don't you worry, okay? In years of infinite, Brad, he kept it from the While searching for the philosopher's book, he discovered phosphorus. My grandmother once said that we are all born with a box of matches inside. We can apply them to ourselves. Just like in this room, we need oxygen and the help of that. But in our case, the oxygen has to come up without our mother's breath. They can't tell me anything. Just like the melody they saw, we were in cats. Just anything. Anything that will set up and trigger one's matches. Every person has to discover what the world is triggered they will be Because it's exclusive there that speaks our soul. There are many ways to try out and punch spots. As a shoulder, there is a Of course, it is important to light the matches when I'm here. Let's first have to push for the equipment of all of us. All of us are strong and brilliant. And before our eyes, none of us are very brilliant. Showing us the same path of the brother. Same path that calls us for the brother. Chencha, come. There's something we want you to see. Look. Tita found herself grappling with the weight of her mother's untold hardships. Yet, a glimmer of contentment danced in her eyes as she realized she had finally tasted the sweetness of freedom. You could say this actually by My Aunt Tita and Dr. Brown danced the night away. But something happened to the ranch, where Zora was about to give birth. According to mother or you? Well, basically, that's according to the family tradition that you just broke. And which I'll continue to broke until I'm taken into account. I had the same right to marriage as you. You have no right to come between people who love each other deeply. Well, not that deeply. Because Pedro married me simply because he wanted me. And he just replaced you with me. For your information, he just buried you to be near me. But he did help you. I think it's really time for us to forget about the past and just focus on the future. Tita, face the truth. I am his wife and that's never gonna change. I won't let you make a fool out of me. Oh no, sister. No one's making a fool out of you. You don't understand. Look, I don't even care if you will keep on smooching with my husband in every dark corners of this place. I don't care. 
and I think it would be I would be glad if he'd be doing the, that with you because not only means that he will never touch me. But you know what, Tita? In the public's eyes, I will always be her wife. And starting today, I will be taking care of my child because you will only be a bad influence to her. Remember this, sister. Remember this day. You can be sure. I won't let you ruin her life, Esperanza's life, with this stupid family tradition of ours. You know what, Tita, the truth is? At the distance, you really can't do much. Did you ever see prostitutes taking care of children from decent families? No way! And you really think our family is decent? Yes, I do! My little family is, and to make it more decent, I want you to stay away from my daughter. Or else, I am going to force myself and evict you from the house that mother left from us. Hi, Tita. Do you feel good today? Yes. Well, you seem so out of sort. If you weren't a good girl, I would have you were pregnant. pregnant? Yes. Only you would suspect that. And what do my eyes have to do with it? Well, you know, I can tell by a woman's eyes whether they're pregnant or not. Well, anyways, this chocolate tastes so good. What did you put here? Of course, I made it with love. Well, might as well try it at home. Thanks for the tip, Tito. No me dijiste? Because I wanted to make a decision first. Have you? No. Tita, listen. Before you make a decision, you should know that having a child with you is the greatest joy that I ever had. But in order to make that happen, we should go far, far away from you. Unfortunately, the fights between Tita and Rosora didn't last long because three days after their most violent and tearful fight, Rosora died of severe digestive problems. talks whenever he prepared meals. And of course, her Christmas rolls. Mine never really come out like hers. And I wonder how I always cry so much whenever I make them. Maybe because I'm as sensitive 
the onions as tita, my great aunt. She'll continue to live as long as someone cooks her recipes. Well, maybe I got that piece of her.
Sana naman pagbigyan mo na Pangakong di na mauulit pa Katulad mong tayo 